Hello everyone, this is Anton and today I wanted to go into another third-party plugin that integrates Todoist, the task manager app, into Obsidian. I guess I've been on kind of a task in Obsidian kick this week, but let's get into this third-party app and let's see um, basically how to set it up and what it looks like. So I'm going to go into the settings here third party apps we browse and let's search for todoist so we have this todoist sync app um, third party plugin here and if we go through we can do the install uh, we're going to have to copy our todoist api token here in the dot obsidian folder and to get to this on a Mac, you're going to have to unhide your, your hidden files. And you can do that by shift, command, and the period. But this should be fairly straightforward. Just create a text file that um, with this name here, todoist-token. Copy your token in there. You can add your token. Use this link here. It will send you directly to the token page. And it's here at the bottom and copy that into that text file and put it into the obsidian, the dot obsidian folder. Now let's go ahead and install this token here. I'm going to go ahead and install. And while we're waiting for the install here, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And with that done and the install done, let's move on. So the plugin is installed. Let's go ahead and enable it. Looks like we're going to have some options here that we can configure and set up. If we go through, okay, we have some here for setting, rendering the labels, project settings, settings, icons, render dates, uh, refresh and some debugging information here so let's go back to the main plugin page and let's go through the usage here again all right so looks like when we enable the plugin we're going to have to place this code in one of the text files and then go into preview mode okay so let's go ahead and do that. So here we have my task. So it's going to grab all of my task and here it looks like it's going to filter for today and overdue. So let's go ahead and hit preview here. Okay. So it's not showing anything and that is because I don't have any task in Todoist. Okay, so now we're in Todoist, I'm in my inbox. Let's go ahead and create a couple tasks here. Task two, and we'll do task tomorrow. All right, so we have three different tasks in here and we should be able to see those. Let's click the refresh button. and not seeing them come in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to some of the time i've seen some of the plugins not work unless you restart obsidian after you do the plugin so i'm going to go ahead and restart obsidian and open it back up and we'll be right back and try this again okay so i've Close, reopened, and I'm still not seeing anything here. So let's go, let me go into the filter here. And maybe it's because I don't have anything overdue. What I'll do is, let's change the filter for today and tomorrow. Let's see if anything shows now. Okay, there we go. So now we can see that there are some tasks that are coming in. We have tomorrow, but I'm getting these weird icons here. So I don't like these icons they are pretty big. 
I guess what we probably could do is go into the CSS and change those. But what I'm going to do is just not render those. Okay, so we have a date icon, a project section icon, and label icon. Let's disable those. And okay, so now I'm looking here. We have this one task, and let's see. So the task for tomorrow. So let me do this. Change the name. Let me see task here. We'll put a one in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that it is it is capturing the the task is in the inbox and it's for tomorrow. Oh, I you know what? I think what the problem here is is this this particular filter is causing the issue. So let's remove the filter and let's do a preview here and see what happens. Okay, so now all of the tasks come up including the the new ones that I have here. Some of these are, are like default ones that were created here in the because this is somewhat of a new account. So we do have all of the the, the tasks in here and what I need to do is to get it back to where my filter is working. Let's go ahead and put it back there today and tomorrow is that I have these tasks that I've created here and let's put today on them. That's what I was missing and we'll put today on that one as well and if we go back into here and refresh, voila. Okay, so the issue was that the or there was no issue, I guess, with the filter at all. But my my miss was that I did not have these two tags tagged for today. So this works pretty well. So that's this is nice. So we can kind of see how you could use if you use Todoist um, Task Manager, how you can integrate that into. Obsidian using this third-party plugin. So that was fairly easy. And if we go into the plugin, let's take a look at this one more time. Easier to get to it this way. We can go through, we have a couple inputs. So we had the name, we have the filter that we can do. You can set the auto refresh. And it seems that some of this stuff is in the UI now for the plugin. And you can also set up some uh, task grouped by project and section here. And I think key if you want those icons that are in there or to change the way the, the look is here because right now it's showing some of the labels beneath the task instead of above the task or on the side of it. You might need to go into the CSS and customize the CSS so that it's displayed the way that you would like it displayed. So and you can see here they do show some examples of what you can put in the CSS as well. Okay, so that was the Todoist Sync plugin. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Anton and until the next time, have a nice day.